Hey guys, it's FIFA Valley here, and welcome to episode 44 of Let's FIFA 13. And as you can see, I go out and pick up Ibrahimovic once again for 483k. A little bit more than I wanted to pick him up for, but I was a little bit too impatient, and I still made a great profit on him, about 70k coins from selling him on after his amazing performance against England. So yeah, I buy him back and I go into the first game of this episode with the skill squad and I come up against a quite a pacey side uh, and I did create a few chances in this game but not the most spectacular uh, and it feels like in form Neymar he is not the best player. He's not suited for a striker position in my opinion. I think he fits uh, the left wing or left forward a whole lot better and he tends to be very invisible in those games I play. But I do manage to get a goal here by a huge mistake by my opponent to make it 1-0. And I actually get another nice chance here with Rubinho doing a few nice skill moves here. But as he, he does a backtrack and doesn't really commit into the tackle. So I cross it in in the end and I miss the goal. And that will be the end of the game. I win it 1-0 and I'm on 13 points. So almost um, sure of a promotion to Division 1. So going into the second game of this episode with the Scandinavian team with a slot on back on the top and uh, we will eventually find an opponent and uh, he will uh, play a uh have a pretty nice team here, a Premier League team with a lot of good players, fast wingers, fast defenses, solid midfield and great strikers. But of course it is Slatan getting some nice skill moves going here. But it was not before the second half that I really got the chances. And here you see me hitting the bar there unfortunately. And then in the 17th minute he will get a goal here with Lennon passing it to find Van Persie. And he will make it 1-0. So he's up 1-0 by Van Persie. And... Uh, I thought, oh no, I'm going to lose this one because I had a hard time at bringing him down. But straight from kickoff, I actually managed to pick up a free kick here. And then my first thought was to try and launch it into the box and go for a bicycle kick. But then I thought, let's try and pass it up and see if I can get a goal that way. And uh, not the best uh, stuff there, but... Uh, Slatan will pick the ball up and he does not really pressure Slatan and he gets all the way into the box and there is no defenders and he will put it into the back of the net straight after he scored uh, to make it 1-1. And uh, that was far from over at that point because Slatan gets the ball back in the 76th minute and he gets a very lucky here to muscle his defender off the ball and pick it up to make it 2-1 and that is how the game will end. A few moments of magic by Slatan there to win me the game and I'm now secured promotion to Division 1. So now I can just uh, play for the title to get the extra coins. So going to uh, the next game with once again the Scandinavian team because I really do enjoy playing with them. And they, I don't know what it is, despite they have quite a few silver players in it, they are just very good to play with. And I come up against a full Belgian side, and that is something I would like to build at one point. They seem to have some really good players in it. And I would get the game started here in the third minute, taking out the key, but I wanted to go for the Hocus Pocus uh, pass into the goal, but he ends up making a slide tackle, and I win a penalty. And Slatan will convert that uh, to make it a 1-0. And his defender does indeed against get a send off, but uh, it did not show in the cinematics that he got the red card. But he did surely enough get sent off, and that meant I could create a, quite a few chances in the game. And here I win a corner, and straight from the corner I will find uh, Holland, who scores another header for me. He is pretty good on the corners, but he will get it back straight after that with Eden Hazard to make it a 2-1. But after that, I pretty much control the game. Second half, uh, in the end of the first half, I will win a free kick. And this is pretty much the perfect distance to take a free kick with Slatan because he does have quite a lot of power on his free kicks and quite decent curve. So this is a great position to get it into the top left hand corner with some curve on it and a long run up to the ball and he will hit it into the back of the net to make it a 3-1. And then we get into the second half here, uh, passing it out to Sana who will we'll do some nice skill moves here out on the wing, managing to to get into position to cross it in and he will find a Braden who makes it 4-1 so uh, I really had the control of the game and Slatan he will get a through on goal and I take the keep out and once again I do fail uh, the heel finish there about a 5-1 and Slatan completes his hat trick and that's the end of the game and that will pretty much be the end of the episode 2 because now I've made my way into the vision 1 I want to ask you guys one thing 
because someone uh, mentioned to me that I should try and play some tournaments and see if I can pick up uh, 100 trophies like that the main objective is still getting the goals for the goals compilation but alongside that I could try uh, like a side object to get those 100 trophies and that way there's a lot of tournaments for special teams so that could be a cool way to, to um, use that uh, to build some of the teams you want uh, you guys want me to build so yeah guys uh, leave a comment about that below and uh, that will be all for this episode I hope you did enjoy it and I will talk to you later